Guys, we're back on another job site here in Switzerland, and this is a multifamily building, and it's again hybrid, so you're gonna see some steel, but primarily this is gonna be a CLT and a, a pre-panelized building. Uh, so if we flip around for a quick moment, you're gonna see they're installing the Seagull wet guard, uh, and that is a CLT floor panel, so that's gonna be, that is the floor structure of um, this space and if you look closely here uh, where the panels come together you actually have this butterfly joint uh, that basically keep those panels together and then of course you have some connection points uh, and penetrations but what this wet guard is going to do it's a temporary protection we've talked about this before but it is Sega's semi-transparent temporary floor protection it's going to prevent water and anything making its way through the CLT panels during construction in the final the final condition it does very little uh, but during construction and during if they were to put a concrete floor on here which I assume they would with some sort of soundproofing, it's going to protect the CLT and anything from going below. All these panels are actually stacked on a trailer out there. We got another tower crane up above us here and they're dropping all these panels into place. And these panels are coming completely done. So we have the OSB on the inside. A lot of you guys have been commenting about like, oh, this stuff's gonna fail. It really isn't. There's, they're, they're, these are manufactured in a factory, you know, this is our air control layer for this wall assembly. That's why you have the Sega tape on the seams. And this is gonna be the air control layer. So everything else is gonna, it, it, it really allows the outside to dry, uh, you know, to the outside. Now, you're gonna have your finished material. You see a lot of it's already been prepped for electrical. So there's probably electrical that runs floor to floor uh, and then come out and they're stapling it there so they can make the connections. But all of these panels that you see are how they came from the factory. The outside, you actually have this uh, gyp, cement based gyp board as well as in, on the outside here. Uh, I'm not sure what the cladding material is, but probably something that gets adhered to uh, this surface, uh, whether or not it's the final condition. I would think based on everything else I've seen here in Switzerland is that they're gonna have some sort of rain screen uh, detail and maybe like a, uh, a panel with a, a pretty substantial air gap behind it. Um, I talked about uh, hybrid. You also have some of the precast elements like these stairs, but interestingly, the elevator shaft is now approved to be used, uh, now approved to use CLT panels. So the elevator shaft from the base all the way up is actually a CLT panel. And then they're getting their fire rating, of course, with you know this, this JIP base here. Uh, very interesting, if you take a peek in here, you see some of the connection points, whether they're hoisting or, you know, those are probably anchor points for the staircase. So they pro they're they probably bolting into the concrete stair and the, whoever drilled them actually left the pucks and, and screwed them to the wall uh, so they can come back and just pop those back in and patch them in. I did want to show you over here before they put the wet guard, the paneling is actually really high quality. This could in fact be your finish detail. We're considering using CLT for a project that we're working on back in the States uh, and considering you know what this looks like it really does have this beauty to it and if you do enough planning which all of these buildings this is where the the, the work is is in the planning everything is planned far in advance and when this stuff shows up on site you know you want to minimize the potential um, issues that you might run into or mistakes. So we're thinking that if we could build you know it's, the house is going to be a 2500 square foot home and considering doing it out of all CLT would be really interesting to leave the floor, the walls, and even the roof in the raw format. And what that means for us is we gotta be really careful with electrical uh, in preparation, whether we're putting electrical boxes in the CLT panel or we're doing surface mounted through conduit and things like that. And of course, plumbing is gonna be a little bit more tricky too, but it's really beautiful. And in my opinion, I think it would really set the house apart. And for the for us in the U.S., we're seeing like 20 to 30 percent price increase over traditional framing, uh, and that's really just because we haven't adopted CLT as much as they have here. There's an exercise we're going to do to see that all right, 20 to 30 percent increase in cost for CLT panels. Well, could we offset that? by reducing plaster paint uh, and some of the finishes that you would normally do on the inside of the house by leaving the CLT exposed. So we're walking down here. So looking at this right here, this small step, to me that says, all right, this floor is gonna be built up to this elevation. Again, a pretty typical detail we're seeing everywhere where they're coming in, they're putting a soundproofing layer and then ultimately putting concrete slab in preparation for a final condition. Down here, you can really see some of those, those bumps in the floor that we were kind of walking over up top, up top is your steel. So this is where the hybrid comes in. Of course, you're, you know, not of course, but we are using concrete for the foundation, but then you have these steel posts and it's typically on a grid system. And then you're spanning from steel to steel with your CLT. 
an interesting detail that I've noticed in all of these projects with the CLT is that you're actually supporting all of it on the bottom flange of that steel, and the steel is always protruding higher than the CLT on the top. And ultimately, what that, why that is, since they're building up that floor system so much between soundproofing, concrete slab, and finished material, they can kind of graze by that steel. And down here, it gives them a nice flat surface to run all their utilities. So if they do have something high up, they're not having to jog around the steel up here. It's much easier to do that in a built up floor system. Nice work, buddy. Oh, thanks, dude. Good. Oh, I was gonna go in there. So he, my, my, my dear friend Ben Bogey just gassed us out. Dude, the Swiss food is no joke, <laughs> but we are still rolling, so it's great. I don't even know where I was. I was. This is the, the lower level, and you have a lot more of the interior walls. And I actually, this is, this is the first time I've seen this. Before I even address this, um, you know, you see a lot more of the, uh, the cement-based gypsum. This right here, you know, obviously prep for tape. So they manufacture the, the gyp a lot different here. Again, they're stapling it instead of screwing it. All of the staples seem to be on the exact same angle. That's because they're installed in a factory. So again, you're saving on the labor. This stuff is built as panels. Real quick, look above this wall here. That CLT is structural. This wall is not. And so there, there really is no reason for this wall to go all the way up to that CLT panel. Instead, it's a, it, it's, this wall is designed to be supported in a different way. This is something new that I haven't seen before, um, but it's you know kind of on the premise of light gauge metal. This was pre-manufactured in a shop, meaning that all of this was put together, all the plumbing fixtures were screwed to it, and it's prepped for a toilet and of course a sink here. And they're able to drop this in a location and be all prepped and ready. And again, it goes back to how much of this stuff can you pre-build in the shop so you're helping you know, the efficiency of it? Mineral wool insulation in the interior walls, very nice detail. As you work through here, you're seeing a lot of the same details and even some CLT interior walls, which to me says that's gonna be a that's some sort of structural wall. All of these job site walks and the big reason why I'm here, again, big thank you to SIGA for getting us out here in Switzerland and having, and of course the builder in GC for allowing us to tour the job. For me, when I walk these jobs, it's all about understanding how people do things a little bit differently. CLT has been something that I'm just interested in in general. I think it's an interesting building material. I think that, you know, there, there's benefits of using wood over concrete and steel. CLT, I think, is so relevant here in Switzerland. And I think that they're years ahead of us in, from a construction detailing perspective. Starting to see CLT show up in the Boston market, in the US market, really says that we have this opportunity where you know, maybe we can be an early adopter and start changing the way we build, whether that's residential or multifamily, and really make a big impact on building a better home. Because frankly, the way they put this stuff together and with the level of customization that they do, with the level of planning that they're doing where windows are on site. There's stacks of windows out there ready for this building to be put together so they can go right behind it with their windows. And the only way to do that is with really proper planning. That's the whole point of our pre-construction process. We want to be involved to make sure that we're working through this early so we're not deciding this stuff in the field or we're not ordering windows when windows can have you know, six month lead time and we want to be ordering those as soon as possible. So again, big thanks to Sega for bringing us out to Switzerland. Really cool project to see. Uh, really cool to see how the CLT is coming together. Uh, stay tuned for our next video.